I'm currently back in Waterloo for my third year of computer science. Right now it's reading week and I just got an internship for the summer. So I thought I'd make a video about where I've been for the past year and a bit about how I got this internship because honestly, I took so many L's that like hopefully you'll be like inspired or something. You'll see, you'll see. Anyways, starting from like January of 2022, so like a year ago, I was doing an internship at this company called Wellsimple, which is this like pretty big Canadian fintech startup. And I was working on a front end platform team, working on developer tooling for the first time, which was pretty cool. And if you've watched my Q&A video, you'll know that I really wanted to work here at Wellsimple. Your dream company, which you want to join. For my next co-op term, I really want to work at Wellsimple. It ended up happening. It was a great experience. Lesson here, tell your audience where you want to work. Gotta manifest it. Unfortunately, the internship was remote and I was living at home, so not much really happened that term. But I did make three videos, which wasn't too bad compared to the rest of the year. <laughs> All right, summer 2022, so like May to August. I had my first in-person semester of university after two years of online school and two years without like talking to real people. It was also my first time moving out, living alone. I had no roommates. So it was a really new experience that I had to adjust to a new environment. That summer was a lot of fun, except there was this one week where I had all my finals and I was recruiting for LinkedIn. So I did my LinkedIn coding challenge, phone screen and final round interviews all in the same week and all while having a high grade 39 degree fever. So I can make like a whole video about that, but basically I was dying that week and I still got rejected by LinkedIn. Now moving on to the fall, so September to December, I was doing another internship, this time at this company called Kiavi, which is a fintech startup based in SF. I was on the data infrastructure team so I was doing like infrastructure for the data. Again, it was remote and I was living at home, but unlike the winter term, gyms were actually open. So I basically just went to the gym after work. You know, three, four times a week, I'd be doing these like two hour long full body workouts. And I saw a lot of progress that term. I went up like 10 pounds in body weight to like 145. My bench went from 145 to 185. My squat went from 195 to 275. And overall, I was really happy with my progress. During the fall, I was also applying for summer internships. And this would be my fourth internship. So I thought it would be like a lot easier than when I was applying for my first internship two years ago. I took so many L's. I applied for 150 jobs and got zero interviews, which is literally like the same as when I was looking for my first internship, even though this is my fourth internship that I was looking for. So I had three internships under my belt and I still got zero interviews. At that point, I didn't even bother lead coding because I just wasn't getting interviews. I also did make one video where I went to Kanda's biggest hackathon and gave away $500 to people who could answer tech trivia questions. I'm sorry, but that was correct. <laughs> And I actually put a lot of time and effort into that video and it completely flopped. So I kind of lost motivation to make videos for the rest of the term, but it's okay, we're back. So fast forward to now, 2023, what am I doing? Well, like I said, I'm back in Waterloo for my third year, just finished recruiting for my summer internship. And here at Waterloo, we have Waterloo Works, which is like our internal co-op job board system. How it works is you apply to 50 jobs in the first round, interviews take place over the next few weeks, and then employers rank you one to 10, where one is an offer. And so on rankings day, you find out whether you got an offer, ranked or not ranked by each company, and then you rank them back and then a matching process occurs and then you get a job. And so of the 50 jobs I applied to, I got nine interviews, four for Toronto companies, three in New York and two in San Francisco. And when rankings came out, I was feeling hopeful. I was feeling like there's a good chance I could get something in New York because I really wanted to go to New York this summer. How do you view rankings? And go to ranking. I'm praying. Fuck. Fuck. Damn. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Is it good for you? No. Fuck. Damn, I really got not ranked from all those. I thought I did, like, decently on them. Max, we gotta hit the gym tonight. <laughs> After the midterm and after rankings is too much for one day. Okay, ending the vlog here. Um, shit. It's okay. It's okay. The point is, it's okay. Bye. Yeah, I got I got not ranked by every single company except one, and that company wasn't even one of my top choices. So I was really crushed. Like, I was sad. I was actually really sad. But I didn't I didn't have time to be sad because I had a midterm in two hours. And I was just coping the whole time instead of studying. 
But anyways, I'm still glad that I got a job for the summer and I'm finally done with recruiting. And so I'll be doing full stack engineering at this super fast growing ed tech startup based in SF this summer. Now that I have a job for the summer, I can finally start going to classes again. And so this term, I'm taking five courses. First one is CS341 algorithms, where I'm learning how to do leak code problems without looking at the solution after two minutes. CS350 operating systems, where I'm learning how to fix my computer. STAT 231, statistics, where I'm learning how to predict the future. And I'm taking two electives, Psych 101, which is intro to psychology. And I took this so I can psychoanalyze my interviewers. And then my last course is Health 100, healthy lifestyles, because I'm a CS student. And to be honest, this should be a required course for all of us. Overall, the courses aren't too bad yet, but that's just because I haven't been to classes in a few weeks, so I just don't know what I don't know. Another thing that I'm doing this term is that I joined the computer science club as an event coordinator because I'm in my third year now and I've only ever been to club events, so I wanted to be one of the people that organize these events. It's honestly been a really fun and rewarding experience so far. I was the lead for an event that we held last week called Valentine's Code Party, and I know those three words probably shouldn't go together, but yes, it was a Valentine's code party. We had like 80 people show up to, some of them were coding, we had board games, most people were just chatting. We also had like pizza, hot chocolate, and cupcakes, and overall it was a really fun time. Anyways, now that I have a job for the summer, I can finally start making videos again. Most of you enjoy the skits, which of course I'll continue making, but I also want to try out new types of content over the next few months, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for listening to my little life update, and I'll see you all in the next video.